burning at 120 million degrees Celsius for 101 seconds. The artificial sound of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has set a new world record, which means that mankind is one step closer to the ultimate energy. In fact, the artificial sound project is now meant to build a thing that emits light and heat like the sound, but a device that generates energy similar to the sound. Nowadays, the whole world is facing a power shortage motivated by the global carbon neutral goal. Many countries are making efforts to reduce the scale of thermal power generation and increase the proportion of wind power and hydropower at the same time. However, extreme weather in many places can easily affect the work of hydropower and wind power. So, once the artificial sound is successfully developed, it can serve as a more stable and clean energy. The main fuels for nuclear fusion inside the sound are deuterium and tritium, which are stored in large amounts in seawater. The tritium storage on the Earth can support human use for tens of billions of years. Moreover, the helium gas generated by the reaction of tritium and deuterium is clean and pollution-free, so there's no need to worry about pollution. Therefore, in order to imitate the nuclear fission phenomenon inside the cell, scientists have built a nuclear fission device, which is the artificial cell. Imagine if we could replace fossil fuels with our very own stars. And no, we're not talking about solar power, we're talking about nuclear Fusion. And recent research is helping us get there. We the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, EAST for short. EAST is a fusion reactor in China, and now it can reach temperatures over six times hotter than the sun. Let's take a look at what's happening inside. Fusion occurs when two lightweight atoms combine into a single larger one, releasing energy in the process. It sounds simple enough, but it's not easy to pull off. That's because those two atoms share a positive charge, and just like two opposing magnets, those positive atoms repel each other. Stars like our sun have a great way of overcoming this repulsion. Their massive size, it creates a tremendous amount of pressure in their core, so the atoms are forced closer together, making them more likely to collide. There's just one problem. We don't have the technology to recreate that kind of pressure on Earth. But luckily, there is another way. We can also generate fusion with extreme temperatures. And that's exactly what devices like EAST do. The higher the temperature, the faster the atoms move around, and the more likely they are to collide but it quickly becomes a balancing act. If the temperature is too hot, the atoms move too fast and they zip right past each other. If it's too cold, the atoms won't move fast enough. So the ideal temperature to generate fusion is around 100 million degrees Celsius. That's more than six times hotter than our sun's core. 